I suffer from panic disorder with agoraphobia. This all started after an absolutely horrific accident. We had a family gathering. Everybody was having a good time out of nowhere. My cousin got up and slapped me. I don't know where it came from. After the incident, we get maybe a block or two away. All of a sudden, this truck rammed into my car. It was my cousin, the one that slapped me. My first thought was to get away, and I just took off. He chased me. I felt that this person was coming to kill me, and I didn't know why. He only stopped because he had a flat tire. It took almost a year before I started feeling any symptoms of panic, and it started in a car. All of a sudden, my heart is beating out of my chest. It got very bad to where I couldn't go to work anymore. I don't leave here. I don't go to stores. The furthest that I've gone is up and down my block. I've lost out on family gatherings and trips. I have not been able to do everything that I want to do with my son. I want to take cupcakes to his school for his birthday and watch him go get an award. But when I think about leaving here, the panic takes over. Hi, Teresa. Hello, Dr. Rachel. Hi. Oh my God. So Teresa, how long have you been dealing with your agoraphobia or your fear of leaving the house? It has been 10, 11 years. Well, you know, I'm all, I came all the way from Chicago. How about we go and see if we can go for a little walk? That's the least I can do for you. Okay. <laughs> So what do you think you're afraid of? If you go past that point, what's about to happen? I feel maybe that it'll take too long for me to get help if I need it. I'm too far away from home. That you may need help and there won't be anybody there to help you. Mm -hmm. How are we feeling? A little anxious. A little anxious? Yeah. You want me to go further? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's see if we can go to this tree right here. OK, I can't turn around. Experience. Deep breath. How are you feeling? I'm just starting to tear up. Like the panic is coming in and my heart is beating really fast. Knowing that Teresa wanted to take the steps needed to finally free herself of her agoraphobia, we set her up with a home visit from licensed clinical psychologist, Dr. Victoria Bocanfuso. Good afternoon, I'm Dr. Bokenfuso. I'm Teresa. Nice to meet nice you, Nice to meet Teresa. you, come on in. What's your knowledge and uh, familiarity about agoraphobia? I've heard there's no cure for it, okay. um, but I want to be able to live, you know what I mean? Because right yes. now, it's not living. There is a cure for it. It is not an easy place to get to, but it is curable. Mm -hmm. And you can get control of your life back. It's going to require a lot of work. Agoraphobia is something that your brain has created as a survival mechanism. Mm -hmm. But what your brain has done to protect you is create this anxiety about being outside of your home. Can you tell me a little bit more about what your experience with medication has been? It did help a lot in the beginning. Now it's not doing what it was doing. Yeah. So it is very common, especially with um, antidepressant medications. Your body may have gotten used to the medication and just stopped responding. The idea is that we want to not have to use the medication. Our relationship will involve figuring out what works best for you and what you'll be most comfortable with. There's going to be something that I might suggest that you'll look at me and say, mm, I don't know. <laughs> if you're here and you're motivated, then the only person who would be holding you back from getting healthy is going to be you. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.